All right, so in the last video, we went through the first example of uh, percent by mass calculation for solution concentration. And now we're going to pick up with example two here. Um, so when you go to the store, you might sometimes see bottles labeled with their concentration in terms of percent by mass. And so in this example, if you went to the store to Walgreens and bought a 500 milliliter bottle of hydrogen peroxide and read on the back of the bottle that it says it's 3%, then we could use this information to figure out what mass of hydrogen peroxide is actually dissolved in the solution. And um, one important piece of information that doesn't exactly say in this question is that hydrogen peroxide is typically dissolved in water. And so because of that, we can assume a density of one gram per milliliter because that's the density of water. So to do this calculation, we need to use the volume of our solution to figure out what the mass of our solution is. And this is because mass of solution is something that is in our formula. So um, using our density equation, we can figure out the uh, volume of our, we can figure out the mass of our solution. So density, if you recall, is mass over volume. And we're given our density is one gram per milliliter. And we're looking for our mass. We're given our volume is 500 milliliters. So when you do this, just make sure that your units will match. So since the volume is given in terms of milliliters and the density, you want your volume to be in milliliters for your volume. Um, so then we can solve for m, since m is in the numerator and it's being divided by 500, we can multiply 500 on both sides, and so we'll get that the mass is 500 grams. Because our milliliters cancel out, so let's see, let's look at that. Milliliters times 1 gram per milliliter, since milliliters is in the denominator of the unit over here, it cancels milliliters there, and 500 times 1 just gives us 500 grams. This is 500 grams of solution because we knew we had 100, 500 milliliters of solution and the density of our solution was 1 gram per milliliter. Okay, so that gives us our mass of our solution. So if we come to the mass percent uh, formula, mass of solution is what goes in the denominator. We're going to need to figure out what the mass of our solute is. That's what the question is asking us to find. So the mass of the solute will be our x. We can plug in our mass percent, 3% is what's given to us in the question, and we can plug in our mass of our solution. So I'm going to write 3.0% equals x over 500 grams of solution, which I can abbreviate to S-O-L-N, that just means solution, times 100. All right, so to get x, here in the numerator by itself. Right now it's being multiplied by 100. So we can divide by 100 on both sides. So we can do that first step. 3.0% divide by 100. Now don't put the percent button in your calculator because oh, a lot of people will do that and it already converts it out of percent for you. Okay, so when we divide by 100 this becomes 0.03. And 0 0.03 is equal to our x over 500 grams. All right, so to get x by itself now, now it's being divided by 500, so we can multiply 500 on both sides. And in the end, we'll see that x, the mass of our solute, is equal to 15 grams. If you put that in your calculator, that's what it would give you. Okay, so that's the mass of our solute. That's the answer to our question. It said, what mass of hydrogen peroxide is dissolved in the solution? All right. Uh, the last important uh, unit that we will look at is molality. And sorry, it's cutting off the question here. I'm going to move some of this stuff down. Um, Molality is 
talking about the moles of solute in kilograms of solvent. And so we're going to need to get our solute in terms of moles and our solvent in terms of kilograms. So there's going to be some converting here. To go from grams to moles, we have to divide by our molar mass. That's what mm stands for. Okay, so if we have 250 grams of uh, HCl, okay, HCl is our solute, and so this is what we need to convert to moles, so we need to divide by the molar mass of HCl. So remember the mass of chlorine is about 35.5 mass of hydrogen is about 1, so that means our molar mass that we're going to divide by is about 36.5 grams per mole. Okay, remember, divide a unit by itself, it cancels out, and we'll just be left with moles of HCl. So let me get my calculator. 250 divided by 36.5 gives me 6.85 mole HCl. So that's our solute. So that's that to dissolve. Alright, then we get to later in the question, uh, it tells us that we have our solvent of water and there are 1500 milliliters. Um, and so if we have water, let's recall that one milliliter of water is the same as one gram of water because of the density of water being one. So 1,500 milliliters is the same thing as 1,500 grams H2O. So if we want to go from grams to kilograms, it's the same thing as going from milliliters to liters. Um, it's going towards a bigger unit. So what we're going to have to do is divide by a thousand because the factor of difference is a thousand between grams and kilograms. So I'm going to take my 1500 and divide it by a thousand grams per kilogram. And that cancels out my grams and leaves me with kilograms. So this will change to 1.5 Zero. Actually, you know what? That's an extra significant figure. 1.5 kilograms. Alright, so this is my solvent. So if I want to calculate the molality, all I have to do is plug in my solute into the numerator and my solvent into the denominator. So M equals, I got 6.85 moles. Uh, 85, I'm oh, sorry, moles of HCl over my 1.5 kilograms of water, and that will give me 6 divided by 1.5. I'm getting 4.6. I don't know if I should trust this calculator. I think that's about right. Okay, 4.6. And then the symbol we write for the unit is lowercase m, whereas in molarity it was uppercase m. Um, so you can write it like that, but that's the same thing as moles per kilogram. Okay, that's what the unit means. So this is a 4.6 molal solution. Okay, now we can also convert between different mol uh, concentration units and um, you might see some questions like this in class, which can seem a little bit cumbersome because it's a lot of converting, but um, as long as we understand how to do the individual conversions between different units, we should be fine. So if we want to make a solution that has 17.5 grams of NaOH in 750 milliliters of water, we can calculate all three of these types of concentrations, molarity, mass percent, and molality. We just have to have the correct units. So remember for molarity, um, we're going to need to change our grams of 
the solute, NaOH, we're going to need to change that into moles of solute. So that's what I was going to fill in right here, moles. So for NaOH, we'll divide by our molar mass. Okay, divide by, it's about 40 grams per mole. So 17.5 divided by 40. That gives me 0 0.44. Or actually, you know, I'm going to keep 368. Um, 0 0.438. And that is moles of NaOH. Okay. Then we need to change our milliliters into liters for our solvent. So remember, all you do to go from milliliters to liters is divide by 1,000. So 50, 750 milliliters divided by 1,000, and you get 0 0.75 liters of H2O. Okay, so that's our solvent. This is our solute. So we can go ahead and calculate our molarity. Molarity is equal to 0 0.438 moles in our uh, 0.75 liters. Alright, so then that should easily calculate out to a nice concentration. So let's see, we got 0.583. And since my um, smallest amount of significant figures comes from my volume, I'm going to keep it at 0 0.58 molar. So this is the concentration in terms of molarity. Okay, next we get to percent by mass. So since our solute is always given to us in, um, well, it's given to us in this question in terms of grams, we don't need to worry about converting it because that's what we need. We need the mass of solute. But what we will need is the mass of our solvent so we can find the mass of our solution. So if we have 750 milliliters of water, that can be converted into grams uh, just by remembering that the density of water is 1. So 750 milliliters H2O is 750 grams of H2O. Say the same thing. So the mass of our solution, don't forget, is solute plus solvent. So our solution is our 17.5 plus our 750. Um, so that gives me 767.5 grams of solution. Okay, so now I'm ready to calculate my mass percent. So percent you might see it written like that a lot, is my 17.5 grams of NaOH divided by 767.5 grams of solution times 100. Let me calculate that real quick. 17.5 divided by 767.5. That should give me um, 2.5. Three. Actually, I need another six eighths, right? So my seven hundred and fifty. No, nope, I'll keep three six eighths. Zero point or two point two eight percent. That is my mass percent concentration. All right. Then finally, we can look at the molality. And remember, we need the grams to be in moles, and we already did that up in the first step. We had 0.438 moles of NaOH, and we need our milliliters to be converted to kilograms this time. So we already found the number of grams. We can go from grams to kilograms pretty easily. So we already know that it's 750 grams from part B, and all we do to go from grams to kilograms is divide by 1,000. And that should give us 0 0.75 kilograms. So now, if you'll notice, this is the same number as what we had for our liters. Whenever you have water, 
your molarity and your molality will actually be equal. So F